Hello, everybody. It is the interview queen, Alicia Atu here, and I am beyond psyched to welcome everybody to interview round four with Steel Panther. Hello and welcome. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see, see both your pretty of face. you. Hey, nice to see your pretty face too, Lexi. How are hey, you guys we, doing? We're doing good. We, you know, before you did the intro, we were talking about our guitars that we have in our studios. Yes. And Lexi was just showing me, show me your bass again, dude, so everyone can see it. It's badass. <laughs> it's so cool. It's a new Jackson, and they made it just for me. It's got a mirror on it, of course. Of course. Yeah, because there's been times where he'll drop his mirror on stage and it breaks. Oh, I've been yeah. so, so and sure that's that happened. Oh, that looks good. Is that a new one? That, that is a new one. Just got, uh, just got it done. Just got it in the mail uh, two days ago. Oh, that's cool. Can I, I want to show my guitar off. Bring go, it go, over. Go. All guitars are welcome. I, I, we did this already, but we're going to do it again so everyone can see. So this is the <laughs> Satchel model Charvel, and it's signed by Satchel on the back. And I got it for like 20% off because I'm in the band. What a steal. I know. I was so happy about it. And That's it plays so great. That's so kind of him. Yeah. Can I yes. say this? It's so, it's so good to see you, Michael. Being in this quarantine um, and, and just to see that guitar and, and getting together with you guys again. Like I was telling you earlier, like, so we're going we're gonna to rehearse on the 6th and then do our show on the 7th. And, uh, but I just can't. We're rehearsing? Face, and it's been such a long time. You didn't you get the memo, Michael? Awesome. We're rehearsing? I think we're supposed to. Really? I don't, you know what? Maybe, yeah, yeah I, th I think we are. I think we're, we're because we're going to do some new songs. Um, oh. And I think we're going to have some special guests. And I and I just, I don't want to spill that now. Um, who what, might what, be there? I will. Will, you, will there. you text me the songs we're going to do and I'll write them down? You I might also, you might also want to write on the top, you know, rehearsal on the 6th. J just in case it slips your mind again. Got you. This April 6th. Rehearsal May, 6th? Show, June 6th. June, June. And okay, then yeah. the concert to save the world is on the 7th. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I know about this. Of course. I mean, I did want to get into that a little bit. It's a massive show. I mean, are you all ready to be heroes and get out there and play for everybody? I am. I'm just kidding. I'm clearing out some of the stuff on my computer so I can tell you some information about the show. Oh, I appreciate please. that, Michael, because I have some information as well. You know, the... Pet well, you go, hey, you go first. Live Nation crew is, is is part of this. You know, the benefits are going to go towards that. So it's a, it's it's not just us getting together, but it's for a good cause, a couple of good causes. Yeah, there's but, a like, there's a cat rescue out in Los Angeles called Heavenly Pet Rescue, mm -hmm. and you. we did a we did a a kitty cam from there a couple of weeks back, a live one, right? And it was really cool. Like you could just log on to it from our website, steelpatherrocks.com, and. Plug. Yeah, and you can totally check out these little cats and they're just playing and stuff. And it was just, like, I, I just had it on and just was, you know, like, doing stuff on my computer and watching the cats. And, and they all, all three of them got adopted. So we thought it would be a great way for us to get back and just, you know, Lexi and I are cat owners as well as Sticks. And uh, Satchel's a dog owner. And we, we all care and about I just animals. got a new dog. I just got a new dog, by the way. Oh, congratulations. It's a What's your dog's area? name? She's 15 weeks old. What's her name? I'm sorry? What's her name? Presley is her name. Presley. Oh. I knew that. I just wanted you to tell everybody. <laughs> and, and tickets are only 15 bucks. Right, which is an absolute steal. And here's great a cause, cool thing. I, I'll give, I just want to give people, like when I was younger, I remember sneaking in to see Def Leppard open up for Bon Jovi, right? So here's what you guys can do, right? You just buy one ticket and invite all your friends over to watch it. <laughs> you know what I mean, but Michael? Yeah, that's I don't know. Ah, that's those so beans, smart. But that's really intelligent. But the only thing you have to do is remember that you have to do some multiplication and some adding because there's social dis distancing, right? So you have to be six feet apart, right. and there can only be a certain amount of people in a certain diameter of a room. So, like for for it's for smart people to do, you know, because it's hard to figure out what that and, could be. And Michael, Michael, what happens if you buy a butthole burner pedal? Oh, you get a free ticket. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It took you a second to catch on, but we totally know all our own promos by heart for sure. Yeah, free <laughs> ticket, and it, it, tickets are only fifteen bucks. That's really, a, I, I feel like that price 
is a good price. I, I was listening to an interview with Satchel uh, this morning and he was talking about the price and I thought, oh yeah, that is a good way to look at it because I remember I would go to a bar and it, it cost 10 bucks to get in and there'd be a two drink minimum, right? right? And for our show, it's 15 bucks and a two t-shirt minimum. And that's a good deal. <laughs> and it is. I and also our merch, if you look at the t-shirt, it has all the dates, well, the different times for the show. So that's kind of a big deal as well. That's kind of cool. It's commemorated because, on the back. It's killer. Yeah. I love how you think about everything for your fans. It really does show your commitment. Well, I, we have to be honest. Lexi and I are really not the think tank of the band. But when we get the information, we are really good at delivering the information. Saying it to you. Matter. Saying it to other people. That's exactly my book. Right. That's what I, that's, I believe as well. We're I mean, good at saying it after they, somebody else says it to us. Yeah, exactly. And that's what that's why we are so good at what we do. I'm a singer and my thing is socializing and so and you know and vocalizing. So And we're also the two best looking in the band. So you're lucky here right now. I really am lucky. Big look deal. look at us three. This is this is a great thing. It's a beautiful <laughs> interview on Zoom. It's a beautiful interview. Now one thing that's going to be really different for you guys is you were used to rocking out in front of so many people at your shows and now it's just gonna be the four of you in a room with cameras and everyone at home. So uh, what are your views on that and how different it's going to be from what you're used to? Michael, you go first. Well, first of all, I couldn't help but notice that um, somebody walked in behind me. Yes. <laughs> right? I did not know whether to bring that up or to just pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> no, no, it happened. Her name is Esther and she she comes every Thursday and helps me with my mom's house, right? And cleans but I love first. Esther. Esther's cool, man. She's been she's been uh, coming and helping helping us out for uh, twenty years now. She used to go over and help Satchel out, and all my other friends. And me too. And oh, Lexi wow. too. And uh, and I, I looked at you know how my garage is right, mm -hmm. and it's it's messy and disorganized, and that's just the way it is for me. I mean, if you go on our tour bus and you look in my bunk, it's like Lexi will tell you, it's just. I was about a to say, mess. is that true? Yeah, I live like a slob, man. I love it. <laughs> what What was the question? Your thoughts on performing in the empty room, just the four of you, six feet apart, no crowd. How How oh. different is it going to be for you? Well, it. I, I got to tell you, we miss each other a lot. I mean, first and foremost, we're friends, and we all love each other and care for each other. So, I haven't like been in a room with Satchel or Darren, our manager, or Sticks. God, it's, I've been home too long. And I haven't even been in a room with, uh, what's your name again? And uh, it's just weird. I miss those guys, you know? And I think once we get together and we're jamming, I think uh, just the joy of being able to jam together will be enough. And I think people will enjoy being able to see that as well. And, you know, we like to play for cameras. That's not a secret. If you watch any, if you watch the download stream from download 2017 that we aired, on our website, you'll see that we love cameras and we like to be in them and in front of them. So it's going to be a fun time. Are you as excited, Lexi, for everything? I am. I, I, as I was telling you before we got on, it, it really is a big deal um, to just be with my brothers again, because this is the longest that we've been apart. And so just to play songs and, 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 and then now that Satchel's writing a lot, that he has you know this, this much time off, um, it's really cool to have that, you know, have Satchel right. But at the same time, I just miss playing our songs. And so that's, it's the, you know, like Michael said, that's kind of what I, how I feel as well. So we do this once a week to just catch up and see each other, but to just hug each other, because we're all huggers. And uh, so that'll be a big deal. I can't wait to hug my guys. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful moment. I'm sure it's going to feel really nice after all this time. It's, it's been a few months you were telling me before, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's been since our last show. It's three months ago. That's crazy. And the last time we saw each other in person was March 13th. Okay. Matter of fact, remember when we flew out to Canada? I was Vancouver? telling her that. Yeah, was he was actually that, telling Michael, me right? the story. Did I? I don't think I even saw you, did I? No, that's what I told her. I said, we didn't see, we didn't, I didn't see you guys. Because I told her, since I moved to, to Colorado Springs, I don't live by you anymore. And so we take different flights. And we literally all went to this show before this pandemic you know, took place, where it got serious. Um, we all went to our rooms, expecting to see each other the next day, and it got canceled, and we all just left. <laughs> 
nobody thought to meet up in the lobby. It was just deuces. <laughs> no, we're like everyone. It was every man for himself trying to get out of Canada without getting stuck there. That's right. That's so right. I, I left. You know, our uh, drummer sticks. He left at like four thirty in the morning or three. Th super early. I was oh, like, <clears throat> I'm gonna sleep in. Screw this. Michael and I. Michael and I sleep more than anybody in the band as well. So you know. Yeah, and you can tell. Look. It's true. You can tell you have that rest, that beauty sleep for sure. <laughs> now, since we're speaking about performing in different spots and interesting places, um, of course, you've performed in your mom's garage before. I know you guys have performed at the Playboy Mansion. So was that where it took place as well? <laughs> the, little, the little show? Um, where would you say it's one of the most bizarre or interesting spots Steel Panther has performed a show before? Go ahead, Michael. Okay. Well, let me think about that. Um, when we did Lexi's mom's garage, that was pretty unique for us. It, obviously, um, we had to like clear out her garage because it was kind of like this. So we had to like straighten it up and, and make mom's it look got, cool. My mom's got a huge garage, by the way. Yeah, she does. You know what I mean? You can park a lot of cars. Lot, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of parking about. space, eh? Yeah. Stop it, Michael. Stop it. Um, but I, God, man. I mean, uh, the, the places that are the most unique to perform are usually private parties for us because it's completely different than what we're used to. And there's only a certain amount of people. And for usually for a private party, it's maybe 50 people, okay. maybe 60. And usually they're friends of the person that hired us. And the guy's like, Wait till you see this band, you're gonna freak out. Oh my god, wait, well, you guys are gonna love it, right? So, the guy who hires is like, This is awesome. I remember one time we were doing this one show, we were out in some small little place out in like in Nevada. I forget where some I was gonna mention this, Michael. Oh my god, oh my god. and I'm up there singing, and, and Satchel during the break between songs, he starts talking to this woman. It's like, You're hot, man. I'd totally like to park my car in you if I could, right? And Somebody, her, I, I don't know who it was at the time, but he threw a beer bottle and hit me right in the head. It was, the, guy, it was the, it was, it was the wife's um, brother. Brother, that was an yeah. Alcoholic. Yeah. Was, she just went crazy and got Good drunk. Times. And they were scared yeah. of him. So you never yeah. know what you're going to get at these parties. That's what, that's what you're saying. Yeah, it sucked, man. And I, like, like she said, I didn't know who it was. Like, get this guy out. Get out, get him out of here. And they're like, we can't, it's her brother. I'm like, <laughs> all right. But well, you know what? The guy it. ended up, he ended up bringing us, I think it was like $1,000 worth of playing chips. Oh. Like afterwards, chips. like here. Like, I, I really, I thought, okay, I can cash this in and get some blow or go gamble. Right. But what did you I, end up doing? Which of the two? I, I cashed in half. Oh, look at you. That's so clever. Come on, man. I did, I did, I just say skinny, I put it all on blow. a boy. Oh. <laughs> Two different approaches, but look at you now. It seems to have worked out, didn't it? <laughs> I think so. I have to mention that one of the things that yeah. I've always loved about Steel Panther in general is how you always speak your mind and you aren't afraid of any repercussions that come your way. So has that always... <laughs> Would you like me to wait for a moment for him to leave? <laughs> no, it's okay. Watch. Who are you? Who is that kid? Where did he come from, Michael? Over there. He must have ran in from the street. There's, there's okay. a lot of crap. I live in lives, North Hollywood. He, Michael lives by a school. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> he runs in without any pants on, too. I'm telling you, dude. Kids. Heavy metal rules. <laughs> um, but just metal does rule. It does. Speaking to that political incorrectness, have you guys always been that way, super outspoken, always blunt, just saying what's on your mind? Well, yes, but you know, we all have a different temperature of how we do it. So when we're on stage and we're talking, um, I, I try to like, Satchel will speak his mind straight up. Like, oh, I've seen I mean, it. There's been times where I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you just said that. And I, then I'll start talking and try and smooth it over or whatever. And then there's times where I'll say stuff and he's like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. And he doesn't try and smooth it over. He just keeps going on it. Yeah, he adds on to it. I've, seen, I've yeah. witnessed this live many times. Yeah. And unless he's like, you know, I don't say anything. I focus on how I look at the, this whole time, even though I hear it. Right. Well, you tell us to stop fighting. 
Oh, does he keep the band together like that? Yeah, he was the first one who got us into band therapy. Oh, band therapy, are you still keeping up with that? Are you, is that like a weekly thing? Well, we started band therapy with a life coach back in 2006 or seven, I believe it was. Oh, wow. Okay. And we yeah. did intense weekly sessions with this guy for about, I don't know, maybe about nine weeks. Okay. And then he taught us uh, some really great practices that we've taken from that. And basically one of them is where we sit down before a show, shut the dressing room door, nobody's allowed in, and we have a check-in together. And we get to talk about how our day is and how we're feeling and what we're about to go do. And then, then we check and we go rock. And then afterwards we do a check out, kick everyone out of the room. He's, shut he's the checking door. right now. <laughs> yeah, he checks out right now. And then, you know, we talk about how the show went, what we could do better. And that's one of the things we, and then we also, had to get aligned. That's one of the things that okay. really helped. Well, just directionally. Oh. Everyone had a different idea of what uh, making it to where we want to go and how to get there was. So we got aligned and then we just snowballed and, and we're talking to you now. Right. It's great when things you know what too? You know what too? And in, in with that, you know, it's cool to, to talk to other bands about that as well because other bands don't connect. And that's why a lot of bands break up. We don't tell this to any other bands other than heavy metal bands because we got to keep our heavy metal together. Yeah. But that's a way to connect. And a lot of other bands don't do that. And that's why they're distance. We've been together for such a long time because we are, you know, we, we've learned how to communicate with each other. And I think that's a big deal. And plus we like to put our penises in girls' vaginas. Yeah. Well, sometimes, hey, nice sometimes, little add on to the sentence there, Lexi, for sure. Well, sometimes when we do the check-ins, it will be after the show and sometimes we get a little we start partying during the show and then we just it ends up being a party and we bring checks in and it's fun yeah. he's like what can i do it just happens it all works hey, out yeah that's that's how friends stay together dude the still panther lifestyle i feel like yeah. i gotta hey, start taking notes you guys want to see a picture of my cat yeah of course he actually popped up as soon as you came into our uh, our group chat here <laughs> That's Alice. Alice, where where'd that yeah. name come from? Uh, this, this remember movie. This, oh my God, Danger Kitty! <laughs> I remember that. That's incredible. <laughs> I want to show some stuff off. To check this out. Yeah. Oh. Is that is that your wardrobe there too, eh? Dude, that's bitching, Michael. Huh? Check this out. Hold on. Every, I wish I had a guitar behind me. Next, I should I should have been prepped. <laughs> what do you got, Lex? Oh, picture. I got us in Kerrang magazine. Ooh. I got a bunch of us in magazines here now. Come to watch. She's hot. Let me see what I got, Michael. Oh, now Michael's Sorry. going to grab something. You know what that is? I'm trying to see what's on top. Is that like a little it's disco? It's a karaoke karaoke machine, man. Do you get down in a lot of karaoke? Yeah, I love karaoke. This is how I rehearse. This light flashes, and I turn all the lights out in here, and I sing to our songs. Do you do like a little boogie? No. No. I do metal. Come on. Come on. I've seen you break out a move or two when I've seen you perform yeah, live. Yeah. I you like, can't. I like, I don't like hold dance. back. Which photo are we looking at now? Oh, that's oh a good one. Crying magazine. I've, I've, Michael, I have so many magazines in this room. I have like stacks of everything we've been in. What year and is that? Kerrang. What year? This year is. 2012. No, if that's right. Where do they put the year on here? Oh, Usually here by go. the U UPC June bar. 12th. Um, 2010. Oh, oh I thought so you said close. 12. <laughs> I did. I know, right? Yeah, I can tell by how much hair I have. That's a great photo. Oh, come yeah. on. You guys look the same. You yeah. can't say that. I mean, you did recently have a birthday, right? I did. Yeah, I turned 55 years old, man. Congratulations. Happy birthday. How was that? Celebrating you in quarantine. Beautiful, Michael. You do. Thank you. And my teeth are only 10 years old. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it felt really good. I, I got a lot of love from everybody across the globe, and it, was felt, it felt really nice. And I also got uh, a lot of texts from people that we've worked with in the past and my friends that I've met on the road. And it was great, man. I had a really good one. And, you know, 
turning 55 is a really big deal because it's like the halfway point to 60. It's crazy, man. That math makes perfect sense. Yeah. I know. Halfway point to 60. (laughs) But you know what? I can still run. I can still jump. And I like to sing. I can still sing. Oh, yeah. And, And I can still eat a cheeseburger like nobody else. That's what matters in the end. That cheeseburger, 100%. Thumbs up. I agree. <laughs> hey, you got, you're from Canada, right? Do you eat yes. caribou? Caribou? From Toronto. That's not a thing here. It's not? No. Oh, caribou, man. It's Maybe, really good. I think it would be moose. Moose would be well, the thing. I think here. caribou is like a kind of a moose. I think. I, I, I was dating this uh, Canadian chick for a while, and she's like, oh, yeah, you got to try a caribou burger. Oh, I'm sure. Like, All right. Okay. And okay. I tried it. It was pretty good. Oh, was it? A little gamey, but some chicks are game. I mean, some burgers are gamey, and that's just, it's cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to look into that and see if it actually lives up to the hype. <laughs> now, you guys have, of course, celebrated many birthdays and holidays together over the years. So I was curious, what would you say is the best gift that your bandmate has given you? Uh, I don't know if it's the best gift. I got herpes um, from somebody in my, in my band years ago. Now we all share that. So that's the gift that keeps giving. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lexi, how did you get herpes from one of the, from one of us? I believe it was because we shared somebody, Michael. Do you want to share this right now? Okay. All right. Now talk about this right now. No, that's cool. That's That's the logical Michael gave me a gift. I'll just say Michael gave me the best gift of everybody in the band. Michael's been giving me the best gift. And I'm reminded by it on my penis and on my lips. You know, months and months. And I remember Michael and I remember, and it's funny because it was somebody, it was a stripper. It, never mind. That's the best gift I guess I got from, from Michael. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I'll show you something I got. This guitar has been making a lot of waves. I got this from Satchel when I lived with him. This is a Fender Strat 56. I love this. Signed by Steve Jones. Oh, now what's Lexi getting? Oh my goodness, where, where is everything coming from? <laughs> hey, we're just pulling like, gifts all over the place. There's just I stuff everywhere. Gift. I got this gift because my bandmates all got me this because I get endorsed by instruments and I'm not even a good bass player. But they keep oh. giving me these things because I'm in a bitchin' band. Hey, Lexi, do a bass solo. Yeah, play something. That's awesome, dude. Thanks. Holy shit. You you think you're not a good bass player, but dude, that was some mean ass slapping right there. Dude. I was just it, it was just all on one. It was just, uh, just an octave thing I did. Thank you though, Michael. That's killer. Thank you. Here's my microphone. Is it time to play or sing something now, or are you just gonna put it through the frame and let it be over? No, it's not plugged in at all. I just fake like I'm doing stuff. <laughs> I got one of those too. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> I've had this. This is a. This is a called an SM58 made by Shure, mm-hmm. and the mic capsule is omnidirectional. And this is the one I used to always use live, right? And now we're endorsed by this other company called Sennheiser, and the mics look completely different. Oh, that was a nice little tail, Michael. This is an iron. That I What's have that iron for? my because I, I got some new wardrobe for the show, so I have to keep it straight. So I just go like this and just turn it on. You plug it in, you turn it on, and go back and forth with it, and it straightens out everything. I have a question. Go ahead. Can I use that iron to iron out wrinkles on my face? Dude, that's what I've been trying. Michael, I don't know. I've been trying to do that because I can't go to my, I can't go get my um, Botox like I usually do or my fillers. So and and it hurts like the Dickens. Right. So, but yes, I'll bring it. Thank you. I mean, if the pain's worth it, right? A lot of people say beauty is pain. Is that something both of you would agree with over time? So I know you've both been very open about Botox and the, the many surgeries you've had over the years. So, Yeah, I mean, people it, it think we're joking. It doesn't matter what's on the inside, it's what's on the outside. I think you know that. Nailed it. Yeah, people think that we're joking when we talk about that stuff, but it's not fake. No, it's very serious. You know, I really, I take, uh, you know, taking care of myself important. And so, you know. And it's important to hydrate during the day because you know you're going to party all fucking night, you know? Right. 
safe? Being in quarantine and stuck at home, I'm, I was curious. I mean, how do you party quarantine style? Do you, I mean, now there is a reason to actually party like tomorrow is the end of the world every day. So how do you party quarantine style? Well, see, I have so many friends all over the world and there's so many different Zoom meetings now. We just do it different. Like after this meeting, I go down to the liquor store, I get my liquor and then we, and then I get my, I don't have the, as many connections as I did in LA. But, and then depending on who's Zooming at what time, like say it's London, because I have friends in London, Australia, or whatever. So I'm partying at different times of the day. That's why it's important for me to hydrate now. Okay. But I get on Zoom meetings. And um, one of the girls that I'm with right now has a computer. And, um, and I can see more people that way because she knows how to do it. So that's how I keep my partying up. But Michael, I don't know about you. Well, well I, I haven't really about you actually. I, I haven't really changed that much in the sense that I, I I like to party alone. You know, I like to be together on stage with people and then after the show I like to party alone. But I do miss the like I was sharing about this earlier, I miss being like performing for people and yeah. connecting. It's so nice to just talk to you and like you know, I haven't seen you in so long. Last time I saw you was in Toronto. Yeah, it was back in December. Yeah, it's been a long time, and I, I really miss that connection with other human beings, especially musically. It's something that, um, that's been the hardest thing to deal with. I, and I need a lot of attention, so. I mean, Michael, I think, I think your clothes are dry. I'm just checking. Esther will come back in when that, that shit's ready. I don't have to worry about it. That's got the it. cool thing about that. Worry-free. Yeah. I don't got to think about it, right? <laughs> well, Sorry about that. No, don't be. Hopefully sooner than later, everything will blow over and we will have you back, not just performing for people through uh, stillpantherox.com, but also um, we can check you out live. I really uh, hope that happens soon. Are you going to watch on the 7th? I am. Watch? I, I, yeah. could, I couldn't nod. I'm going to give a special kiss just for you. Please do. I'll keep an eye out. Beautiful yeah. girl. I it's going to be, it's gonna be great. We're excited for this and it's something that we've never done before. So I think people will be stoked and I know we're going to be stoked. So join us. No, it's going to be amazing. Well, I just want to say thank you so, so much to Michael Starr and Lexi Fox for hanging out today. You two, you're in one of my favorite bands of all time. So just thank you so much for hopping on once again. Nice to see you. Thanks for having us. Good to see your beautiful face. Good to see you too. Everybody, this has been Steel Panther. I'm the interview queen, Alicia Atoot. Be sure to check out aliciaatoot.com for exclusive interviews and features. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.